Hi everyone! So I had received a design team package from BB Crafts. So I'm going to share with you guys what I put together. I will leave that video down below and all the products and the website down below in the description box. So I had picked out some like faux leather looking stuff and it had all this beautiful glitter on it. So I turned them into bows. So I'm going to share with you guys how I put these together. You do need a big die to cut through these because it is pretty thick. So I put together this first little example bow. And then I have this one right here. Perfect for Christmas. And then I just added this little rhinestone snowflake right there. So there's those. And then it cut out a lot from that entire package like you can see it all right here but i do want to share with you guys that i did do a couple of snowmen right here so here is the little snowman this is kind of like a little white but like multicolored. And then with just some of the extra little pieces that were left over of this like leather stuff, I punched out the nose and then just used my regular paint that I had in my stash. I honestly probably should have added some white to it to kind of make it more pastel and blend in. So I also used the white one for this as well. And again, I just kind of like, you know, changed the direction of the nose just as I went along. So... These little leather pieces are pretty thick, which is awesome. They're very sturdy, going to stay together. And I think they're going to make really, really pretty embellishments. I especially love this white one right here. So I'll probably add a hat to them as well. Maybe add a little buttons. You know, I haven't finished decorating them up, but I just wanted to share that I did do some little snowmen with them as well. So I'll put those up right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a bow together with you guys so the die i have does cut two different sizes so maybe we'll do like a pink one right here and then here are your little like tassels at the bottom there so let me pull out those as well so we're going to need two of each of those I'm going to show you how nice it is to work with this stuff because it's so like flexible that it just molds great to make bows. You can also use this uh, to make like a uh, junk journal cover or any kind of cover. Oh, this would have been pretty if you had like a box to put it on the box and just make it shine. You can cut out some tags out of this and that way you have like a sturdy base for your tag and it's just gorgeous like look at the shine on it i am obsessed with this i think it's so so pretty so um let's get started i'm going to show you how i put together this little bow right here so the first thing that i did was i just added a little bit of hot glue to the center just because i wanted to go ahead and get my top piece on there and lined up properly and with the hot glue, you got to work a little bit fast, but not too fast. It gives you a little bit of flexibility to go ahead and make sure that it's lined up. So there's that. And then what I did was I added some glue right here so that way it stays together because I wanted it to look kind of like one piece. I didn't want it to end up being like this at some point. So I'm going to go ahead and add some hot glue to this as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and bring it down the middle on this one. Go ahead and lay that over. Make sure it's right in the middle where I want it. Just smoosh it down, but kind of start to bend it and work it. So that way it's, you know, kind of formed because you already know it's going to be a bow. So I just started kind of working it already. I don't think you need to do that. I don't think it matters, but in my head, I needed to do that. So <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that the glue dried. It would kind of dry in this bow position and not try to like lay flat, if that makes sense. I don't know. In my mind, that's what I thought. So we're going to go over to this side right here and just do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and lay down some more hot glue right there. 
bring this down and over make sure we have it in the center and start working our bow shape already like i said this stuff is so flexible and so forgiving it is tough i love it because i am pretty rough when i craft so there's that and then i just kind of left this as it is like that just to kind of just hang out and kind of dry so for my little tassel pieces um i did do them kind of i did it where these went the same way if you can see right here like the color so this is the darker color and then lighter on top and they both kind of went to the right but then i did it this way where i did this middle color both on the inside and then this outer color on the outside and i like this style much better so it's kind of up to you you can pl play around with whatever you like so i'm gonna go with this style again so for this one i'm going to layer these two like this and then i want these two to be layered like this so so i just for me so i make sure that i don't mess up i kind of set it up already so that way i don't end up doing you know two of the same so i want my middle piece on the inside so i just go ahead and put a little drop of hot glue right here in that corner and then i hold them together so for me i kind of do where this bottom one peeks through the middle right here so you're just gonna go ahead and pinch those together you see you got a little bit of extra glue right there not a problem i'm just gonna pinch that off and pull that off and then what i did was it does lay over each other so just very very carefully very little right to the edge just like barely squeezing any glue out i'm gonna go ahead and lay that on top so it stays like that so it stays together and i don't have to worry about one of these getting lost or falling off so we're going to do the same thing over here just add that smidge of hot glue in this top corner right there and go ahead and work with this and get it lined up the way that i want which is about there and then just take off a little bit of extra glue right there and then go ahead and add just very close to the edge very lightly add some more hot glue right there see how fine that line is it's super super thin line of glue then lay this down again the way that i want so there we go so now i have both my tassels the way i want it I wanted that top color towards the inside of each other. So there's that. So now we're going to go back to this piece right here. And we're going to go ahead and glue this down. So it's going to meet right in the middle right here. Like that. So just going to add a little bit. Do it here. Add a little bit of glue right to the end there. Go ahead and bring that down and you can kind of just make sure that this is all lined up and you'll know that it'll look good from both sides so there's that piece i'm going to come over here add some more glue right here bring this on down and make sure that they are touching right there and you see now from this angle and this angle it looks good either way that came out perfect like that then we're gonna glue our little tassels right here on the back like this and it's gonna be this way so what I did was you see there's kind of like that little space right here so I'm gonna go ahead and glue those together in that little space like this so i'm going to go ahead and just right here in that little piece right there add some glue right there go ahead and line those up kind of angled so it makes like a v 
just hold those together for a sec and then we're going to go ahead and I call this the back because this is where we glued it so on this back piece we're going to go ahead and just glue those on there so we're just going to add some glue right to the top of our little ribbon ends add some glue there go ahead and lay it on the back of our bow here and that's what this looks like right there just hold it together and then there is our little ribbon so our little bow so you could add your rhinestone now at this point or you could go ahead and add anything that you like um i was gonna try maybe adding some ribbon but i should have added the ribbon before i added this part down let's see i'm gonna add um a heart so this is my favorite heart ribbon and this is what we're going to add right here to the middle like that i think that's going to be beautiful just cut this little end right here there we go so we're just going to add some glue right here take our little gold heart to finish this off right there and there we go so here is our gorgeous gorgeous bow using the little full leather from bb craft so like i said i'll leave the link down below in the description box to this product and to their website i do have a coupon code with them you guys i would really appreciate it if you guys use that if you are checking out that would be very helpful and save you guys a couple of bucks but yes here is my little project share from that glitter leather absolutely love it i think these are so stinking cute can't wait to go ahead and add a little hat and some little buttons to this little snowman and finish them off so yeah any bigs die or you can manually cut them out print a template from the internet and just go ahead and trace it out onto this full leather and then you could cut it out by hand as well if you don't have a bigs die that's not a problem or like i said you could turn this into a tag into a junk journal cover so so many possibilities for you guys to go ahead and create with i think this stuff is gorgeous and very very beautiful like i said i got a ton of bows i used all of it i used as much as my strap scraps as i could so yeah this is all the bows that i need to go ahead and put together and then i got 11 snowmen i believe out of the two sheets of these colors like i said this is a kind of like um pinky white and then with the white i got a total of 11 of those and then a bunch a bunch of bows so all right guys that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a merry christmas and we'll see you next time bye guys